I know that reheated or leftover meatloaf is extremely popular, but do you feel like, I guess it starts with, what I've learned is that it really starts with how to store it. So when, let, when we're done with eat, making meatloaf, right? I keep wanting to say eating meatloaf. That's why I'm struggling with my words. When we're done with meatloaf, we've had some meatloaf. Now we have half a meatloaf left over. Do you think it's better to slice it and store it? Or do you think store it as a half? Does it retain more moisture which way? Well, it will retain more moisture if you um, seal it up properly as a as a whole. As a whole. So if you have half yeah. of one left over, seal it up as a whole, but seal it well. But honestly, if you, let's say you pre-sliced it sure. for dinner and then that's what you have left. Mm -hmm. You can either gather it up exactly as it is and just covering it tightly is really the way to keep it moist. Um, and so if you're going to, um, you know, freeze it or do whatever, then mm -hmm. that's a different thing. You'll want to definitely make sure it's tightly wrapped before you freeze it. Right. So here's where I struggle. So we have the meatloaf, right? And we put oh. it in, a, our dogs have feelings about this, by the way. Okay. So we wrap it up and we put it in a plastic container. So do you suggest that we wrap it and then put it in the container? To refrigerate it? Yeah. No. No, I don't think so. I think you just need an airtight container. Uh -huh. um, you've only got about three days with it to keep it fresh and safe to eat. Um, so, no, I would only wrap and then put it in a container if you're going to freeze it because you want to keep the air out. Right. Okay.